Jesse James Decker takes fans inside her baby shower for baby number four. The country singer, who's expecting a baby boy with husband Eric Decker, shows off her recent sweet bear-themed celebration on social media. Video from the party reveals green and beige balloons along the walls and mountain-themed decor all over. Other images show guests rocking matching buffalo plaid pajamas and loving on Jessie. The celeb says in the caption that she hadn't planned on having a shower for baby number four, but her family thought otherwise. Jessie explains, when my sisters asked about a baby shower, I told them, no way, this is my fourth baby. But they wouldn't take no for an answer. They told me, number one, this baby boy deserves to be celebrated. And number two, you haven't had a baby in six years and you have nothing, so we are doing it. I said, okay, do something small. Well, as you can see, they don't do small. Jesse also shares daughter Vivian and sons Eric Jr. and Forrest with the former NFL player. Back in September, Jesse spoke to E! News at the People's Choice Country Awards and talked about how she and her hubs were getting ready for their new arrival. Cute accessories to one another. Yes. I love it. Um, and speaking of accessories, this is a significant accessory. This is new. Yes. Brand new. New development. Yes, okay. yes. About five months new. Yeah, it's not a cheeseburger. <laughs> no, it is not. No, we are growing a human. <laughs> How do you feel She's about it? Well, excited, yeah. You know, we were absolutely shocked at first, but obviously it's a blessing. And, I mean, add another one to the family. Let's go. Yeah. So what number is this? How many kids? This is number four. Damn, wow. Well, you need to make cute kids. So you might well, well popping them out. Yeah, we're excited. You know, we had we toyed with it, and then we were like, no, we're good with three. And then, you know, God made other plans, and we're all we're we're all for it. I love it. Oh, now, what about the other kiddos? Are they all for it too? Or? Oh, they're so excited. Okay. They're so excited. I mean, yeah. that's all we talk about, to be honest. With you. They were all just preparing for the baby's arrival, and we just, I mean, it's just exciting because they're older now, so like they understand what's going on. Yeah. Um. So it's cool. A, a girl or boy, or do we know? Not saying not yet. Saying we do know, but we're not. Saying yeah. Secrets. Secrets. It's a secret. We're probably we're gonna wait. I think. I don't know. We haven't decided yet. Just like when I made my announcement, that was not planned. I decided to announce that day randomly. <laughs> How, are you saying how far along you are? Or? Yes. I, I, 20 weeks. So five, five months. months. Five months. Yeah. Okay. Five months. I mean, we're halfway there. Halfway there. <laughs> it's like, that's great. Um, who are you guys most looking forward to seeing tonight? Well, I love Winona. She's performing. I actually got to sing with Winona at the Ryman, the Opry at the Ryman. My uh, last tour that I was on last year, I had her come out and we sang No One Else on Earth together. And it was like one of the most iconic moments of my career because... I grew up listening to Winona, so yeah. very excited to see her perform tonight and yeah. just excited to present. I'm presenting Duo of the Year. I love that. And it'll just be fun to just see friends. Yeah, and a little date night. That's, little what, date night. That's what I was going to say. I don't know who's all going to be here, to be honest he, with you. He but last I'm, minute decided I'm, I'm on a date night. I got out of the house. <laughs> he wasn't going to come. You're such a beautiful I'm couple, I have to say. Well, well thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. How do you deal with all those haters sometimes online? It's got to be annoying and frustrating. Well, how do you, like, drown out that noise? You know? Well, I just think everyone has them. I mean, yeah. we're, that's what happens when you're in this business. And if you don't have them, then you're obviously not doing anything awesome enough to get that sort of attention, attention I guess. You know what I mean? So it comes with the territory. You just have to accept it and realize it's not real. You know, just focus on the good.